Welcome to the Europower virtual company tour. The tour will start in the development and engineering department. Then we will go to the sales department, to the purchase and warehouse department, to the production, to the testing, to the shipping department, and finally to the after sales department. We start the tour now in the development and engineering department. Please follow me. In the Europower development department, we are doing four activities. The first activity that we do is, of course, development of new Europower generators. These are generators that Europower decides to integrate in the Europower range for the future. The second activity that we are doing in the engineering development department is doing modifications on existing generators. Doing improvements on existing generators. The ideas about improvements can come from uh, distributors, customers, but also from our own production department. The third activity is uh, related to doing modifications on existing generators due to modifications of components from suppliers. The fourth activity in our engineering department is development of generators following to the technical specifications of the final customers. Here on the screen you can see an example. A final customer is asking Europower to make an 18 kVA generator shorter and lower than the Europower standard version. Now we are in our main office. You can see a part of our sales department here. This is our purchase office. Here we place all orders to our suppliers and to our subcontractors. And we organize that everything is here in time for our production. I will take you with me now into the warehouse. In the warehouse we have two activities. The first activity is reception of incoming goods. So that means reception of the goods, inspection of the goods, labeling of the goods, putting the goods in the right place and keeping the warehouse clean. Then we have a second activity that is picking of production orders. I will take you upstairs in the picking warehouse now and show you an example. Patrick is picking the small parts of a production order. Other people in the warehouse will pick the engines, the alternators, the chassis, the canopies and possible bigger and heavier parts. If the picking of the production order is finished, we give a signal to the production planning that the assembly can start. You can see that we have a lot of chassis in stock, canopies, and also, of course, engines. In this lane, we keep stock of alternators. Now we go to the assembly area. The assembly floor is split into three areas. In the first area, we assemble generators with air-cooled gasoline and diesel engines from 2 to 16 kVA in open frame version. In the production, we are using two documents. The first document is our production order or the bill of material. And the second document is the production instruction. A production instruction can be written instructions, can be a mechanical drawing, can be an electrical scheme or a photo instruction or a combination of the four. In a second area, we assemble similar generators but in 
silent or super silent version. That means that there is a canopy around the engine and the alternator instead of an open frame. Here you can see, for example, the assembly of uh, three generators with Honda V-twin gasoline engine in silent version. You can see our special forced cooling system with one air intake for the engine, one air intake for the alternator and one hot air outlet. Here you can see one of the biggest gasoline generators that we assemble with uh, Vanguard V-twin gasoline engines. In the third area, we assemble generators with water-cooled diesel engines from 2.5 kVA to 40 kVA. This is the start of a 30 kVA generator with Kubota water-cooled diesel engine and a special 72 hours fuel tank. This is an assembly of 20 kVA generators with water-cooled Kubota diesel engine 1500 rpm in the new stage 5 version. Here we are in the second assembly area where we do assembly of control panels and assembly of bigger diesel generators from 60 to 600 kVA. Also in the control panel assembly we are using text instructions we are using electrical schemes and we are using photo instructions. The control panels are considered as a sub-assembly and go as one article number in the final assembly of the generating set. These are bigger control panels for 180 kVA generators. We will show you now the generators where we use these control panels in. Here you can see that the control panel is already built in in the 200 kVA generator with Volvo engine. Also in the bigger diesel generators, Europower is working on stage 5 solutions. Here you see an example of uh, 150, 150 kVA generators with John Deere engines with AdBlue. Part of the stage 5 solution is this after treatment system with diesel particle filter. This of course leads to a system that is much more environmental friendly. Here you can see an example of a special custom-built socket control panel. All generators, from big to small, are individually tested in our company. For the open frame generators, we have a semi-automatic testing line. After the testing, there is a final quality control. Then the generators are packed and made ready for shipment. In the after-sales department, we do maintenance and repair of generators for our distributors. Europower is also doing repair on other brands of generators. Here you can see an old timer with a Honda engine and an old Leroy Zomer alternator. As long as we know the main components, we have no problem to repair generators of other brands.